Hey everybody, this is Asher, back with more Curse of the Dead Gods. A game that's all about fun and temple splunking and profit. And right now, one that I'm saving for is getting the two-handed altar up to having rare choices. There are some other perks that I'd like to get, like Skillful Adaptation, or Saving Up for Reptilian Hunger, which will make the Greed Counter not disappear. Of course, I need to get better at keeping the Greed Counter up. There's some other things as well, but uh, this is a game that is getting a little frustrating from time to time, so I kind of set it down for just a little bit. I have played it some off-camera, and we'll see if uh, I do better or worse, or kind of in between. None of these are really super exciting, so we're just going to go with this one and hope that we can find some better stuff. Our um, our perks are still our gold synergy, so we have a thousand gold, five perception at the start, two perception each time you make a gold offering, and then gear found in chest or dropped by enemies per perception uh, has a higher chance of being of higher quality. So I do have three temples that I have yet to clear, the quest for invulnerability, the quest for omnipotence, and the quest for omniscience. I think we're gonna go with invulnerability today. I mean, I do have some uh, other places that I can do as well, but I think I'm gonna stick with uh, up here for now. If I need to farm some skulls, and I might do that later, I'll do some of these down here, but let's see what we can do about a temple up here. Um, right now, my goal here on the first go around is to um, use that area on the left hand side with two stat upgrades and a weapon upgrade. Hopefully I can get a good weapon by the time I get there. Because right now all of my weapons are pretty uninspiring. But yeah, Curse of the Dead Gods, like I said, is a game that I do enjoy, and there are some other games that I am working on learning, getting better at, because you know I'm not one of those people that likes to just run up here and spend an hour of people's time watching YouTube, watching me screw around and learn or not learn how to play things. So that's a little bit of a reason that I'm just trying to do this like this. Um, I do have to unfortunately do one thing real quick, and it's going to make the game client kind of mad at me here, is just to make sure that I'm not doubling up my processor usage here. Um, so this should be fine, and here we go. Uh, because I had the enable preview on on OBS, so I have a mace, I have a shooty gun, and I have a spear. We're going to be trying to do work with the spear for the most part, but right now we got to start by trying not to blow up. Um, did we... Okay, first off, we're actually only slightly on fire. So, auspicious start. Okay. Thought for sure I'd get that to uh, explode here, but... Okay. Exciting. 30% damage to weaken enemies. I'll take the permanent perception, please. So a little bit of greed timer, a little bit of greed kill, a little bit of another relic. 15% critical damage. Could be good, could be terrible, don't really know. So for now we're going to try to stay in the light. So we got some treasure chests early, that could work out really well. Okay, got to do a better job of getting my secondary attacks there, but overall can't complain too much if I can keep my greed counter going without getting hit. Uh, when Fury Pike, I think I'm just going to take the gold. I said weapons this early can, sometimes you'll get some good mods, but that really isn't one of them. So I'd rather have the gold up here because we're going to be spending a lot of gold in just a little bit. All right, so Curse of the Dead God speed run. How fast can we go? Through the area, round and round, nobody knows for sure. Here's a trap. I still like using traps for damage. And I prefer not to get hit by you, though. And I just got myself hit twice. Got caught, literally got caught looking. Okay, so there's some actual lightning goodness. actual secondary attack. Ooh. Um, Rainmaker. Literally what I have. There's a shield. Or no, evasive knives. Um, yeah, I like that better than the slaver's mace. Alright. 
definitely a good move here. We got some more baddies over here. We got a little treasure chest in the middle. Might as well see what's in here. Um, minus 10 blood offering costs. I'll just take the health. I'm getting all this money so that I can avoid blood offerings. Although sometimes the blood offerings get you what you need. Should have carried a lot earlier there. There we go. So see, there's there's a little bit of rust, but a little bit of uh, control going on here as well. We may take a weapon, we may not. We may actually regret not taking the blood offering relic. We'll see. Doesn't appear to be much in the way of healing this early on, so... Thank you, lightning damage. Could have done better. Could have done worse. Could have done much better! Wow. Like, I hit the I hit the parry button. The parry button was not with me today. There we go. Let's just run and reset. As I like saying about this game, it gives you a lot of opportunities to consider how badly you're screwed and how much the uh, enemy is going to kill you. There's a perfect dodge. You're going to try to do the thing. Thought I got the parry off on time that time. That's all right. So my timing's off just a touch. I'm taking a lot of damage that I used to not take here, so that's... Could've, I guess I could have called that myself and just said, Oh, you know what, I should be focusing on the guy that actually summons these jokers. So all in all, a terrible, a terrible start. But one that maybe we can get out of here. Um... That might be worth my time. Blazing Blade's okay, but I got the knives. Lightning attacks triggers a lightning strike on melee. Um, if main weapon is a mace, which it's not, that would be better. You know, let's take it. Why not? I meant to do a blood offering there instead of a gold offering too, which is a little annoying, but... We get a little bit more perception, so maybe we'll get uh, some good stuff here. Anyway, attributes. Looks like we're going to get cursed pretty soon. Hopefully this fire goes out in just a moment. Want to be able to get some of the money if we can. So see, that does just a little more damage. See if we can get some trap stuff going here. Wow. Bonus damage for stamina depletion's fun. Definitely not anywhere close to the best I've ever done. I'm at half health. I should be able to make it. But of course, you never know, because I'm going to get a random fireball like that. And of course, fireballs cannot cross those gaps. It's science. That's not the way. Here we go. Not my favorite. Not get shot. Okay, good. Good greed counter. Good. What are you hunting axes? Get rid of the corruption just a little bit. Alright. So what's our attributes here today? Uh yeah, that's fine. And we can even offer money for some bonus perception. So now I just have to live through whatever terrors come next. And then get an upgrade for something. 
Okay, Shadow Flame. Not the worst, not my favorites. We'll carry on. Okay, good start. Better start. Forgot what weapon I was using, so that's not great. Um, 33 to all healing effects. I am going to need that. Okay, I meant to um, dodge that one. Okay. Um, guess we'll take the gold. Can't actually break through that door, unfortunately. One of the downsides of the spear. Spear's honestly not my favorite weapon, but as I said, I was kind of uninspired by my options that were available. So here is the darkness. Not my favorite. Should have done much better with that. Okay, I don't think I got hit there, which is a pretty big relief. Okay, some health. We're going to offer blood. So I could have saved eight corruption by two of the relics that I got. I think whatever I got was a little better here. So weapon upgrade. Hopefully we can afford it. But first, obviously, we have to survive long enough. Not by doing shit like that. Okay, so I had some... I had The lights were turned on for a second ago. Tried to parry that. Failed. But we do have some things that we can blow up. We can just lure the enemies to them. Okay, I thought I... I thought I did parry that, but I guess not. It's funny. There's a there's a stage of these kind of games where you get good enough to realize how not good you are. <laughs> Clearly there's some end game content that I just need to get a hold on, and I think that's a sign that I just need to be upgrading my shield. Um, uninjured enemy critical when stamina is depleted. Yeah, we'll offer blood. What's, an, what's another curse at this stage of the game? My health's already really low. So we just gotta beat the boss. Alright, so... Enemies explode after dying for a short time, I guess. That's fine. I kind of like that. So here's our boss. Since the full release, these bosses tend to like doing a preemptive strike. Would be ideal to take out some puppies, though. More puppies. Or are they kitties? Things I should really know. Okay. Okay, so here comes another one. Gotta watch out for the daggers that are coming. Puppies. So you're just taking it nice and quiet now. Oh, the moment I open my big stupid mouth. I was really close to not taking any damage. Which would honestly be a first here for this boss. But I did kill him without the uh, dogs being there, so hopefully that unlocks the cursed weapon if I haven't unlocked it already. Okay, 
Okay, we're getting rid of Shadow Flame. I can use enemies exploding to my advantage. So let's see. Plus to fire attacks or permanent constitution. We'll take permanent constitution. Gold offerings remove five corruption or actual gold. We'll take that. So I don't know if I unlocked the weapon or not. It certainly didn't drop. So I guess we heal and we um, carry on. I'm going to go for more stat increases, I guess. So follow the gold and follow the stats. I would like to upgrade my weapons, but we'll do that on the third round because sometimes that's a little bit better. Okay. Flamethrower traps will activate automatically and you stand in front of them. We can also use this to our advantage. Big thing I gotta avoid here is the final curse. Oh shit, I did not mean to heal that much, but that's fine. Um, the relic with the healing effects certainly very effective today. I actually screwed that up because I could have used that to unlock the secret door to get even more gold, but I went right instead of left. I feel like I make that mistake a lot. Okay, so this, this room sucks. Wow. Ran out of stamina. Okay, that's, that's not my favorite. Didn't I say I like this curse? Alright. Um, six perception. Too good not to take. Can't blow up that door for even more gold, so... The run with the spear was the wrong thing to do. Let's just hide in a corner for a second. door, nothing. This one has riches beyond our wildest dreams. And behind door number three is just more money and a dead body. Alright. So did I miss the part where there was a torch in here? Okay. Ugh. All right. I guess I did miss the part where there was a torch in here because there's no torch in here. Keen bow, definitely got to take the minus corruption. And I think we're going to start transitioning away from using that spear very much. Um, yeah. More gold. Thank you. Of course, I gotta actually get through the floor to get the gold, but that's no big deal. Except for the part where it is a big deal. Not big on you guys. I'm being totally honest here. I kind of saw that coming. Okay, so I got a little bit of bonus damage there, and what else do we got? Passing through doors inflicts 25% less corruption or money gain. We'll try to we'll try to do that. Left is best, I guess. Light a torch. That's embarrassing. Should have, I should really try parrying. There we go. And I could have had that guy try to pop open that door. We do have a secret door down here. So we'll just let all that shit blow up real quick. 
Don't mind if I do. So I'm not doing great on money. Or not doing great on health again. Um, each greed kill removes one corruption. Sure, that's good. I could just get my greed counter to do good things. The most important part of the greed counter for me is that I actually have to try it out to take damage to keep my greed counter going. Like, I'm doing great on money. And hopefully that question mark is a healing area because I need the damn healing. Um, it's probably not, though. I'll see if I can get these traps to do the thing. Oh, shit! Disasters happening in slow motion. What are you? Plus two constitution. Yes, that's great. What are you? Feathered spear. Minus eight to corruption. That's great. What are you? A giant floating eyeball. That's also great. Everything is just amazing right now. Especially when we have a whole hallway that's going to blow up in my damn face. Except for maybe right here. Where there's treasure. Alright. Um, plus eight max health. Or, um... This is strictly an upgrade, but it's not the most important thing in the world, so I'll just take the max health. Give me a chance to survive now please. Like, if I could get another thing that gives me a passive healing effect, that'd be awesome. But... Okay, could you not? Guess the answer to that is yes, you will. Alright. Suddenly I miss having my uh, trap damage bonus that I used to play with all the time. Okay. Finally, not rolling into an exploding corpse. That is an improvement. Okay. And statistics. Perception and Constitution, that's fine. Plus bonus Perception. So we should be getting a lot of drops, and we are. That's a plus. Please be healing. It's not healing. Alright, well, we gotta get some items that hopefully give us some health. Not my favorite buddies to start with, but... Well, we were getting corrupted anyway, so that's not the worst. Okay, good. Like I said, we need health. And, um... I do this over the crit. We're not critting very much, and it gives me even more health. Not the kind of relic I would normally take, but whatever. What's down here? Probably nothing bad. No traps. Clearly. Okay, so what can we do today? I 
can stun Lucky, that'd be amazing, but... Alright. See if I can put this extra bit of stamina to work. Um, 8% health, yes. And good. Money on the floor. kind of on the fire there. Huh. We actually almost didn't make it. Okay, well. So, tributes. What's our next curse, please? Divine Pact. What a jerk. And I do want to keep that, so... I have a lot of perception, so I can get rid of a little bit of it. Alright, I'm on fire, because the game's making me keep stuff. Okay, can we do it like this? Set you guys all on fire, especially you. What's in here? 15% um, the lightning attacks. We do accept that. Um, I'm going to take it over the healing effects at this point. Okay. Another one. Oh, wow. I actually got pinned by the enemy to take the explosion. That's the price I pay, isn't it? All right. Oh, wow. Okay, could have done a lot better with that. Gotta remember, I do have throwing knives. I can totally take these guys at range. If it comes down to it. Woo! That was terrible. I just watched that hit me in the face. All right. And what are you? Um, four base damage per 1,000 gold carried. Um, and three constitution. This is fine. All right, and you. I mean, we just got rid of some damage to gain some damage, so the goal is that we get the damage back. Second boss, gotta actually live through it though. So right now, I'm on a very poor track for uh, being able to avoid a second curse, but I've gotta get my parry game on in a hurry with this boss. This is one of those bosses that definitely should not be as hard as I make it for myself. Time. Okay. It's an improvement. I got to restam. Tight. Okay, so there's another corruption, but beat him, kind of surprisingly. <sighs> Alright, so we're gonna take a pretty hefty healing penalty here in just a second. I like volatile remains, I like that. Kinda want my relic slot back. We get some more rings, which is good, because I do have some hefty price tag weapons I want to do here. Um, 
4,000 gold. It's literally an improvement over what I have. Um, I'll take this and um, sack this. Seems backwards, but it's it's the way it goes. All right. So healing, and it uh, looks like we have one upgrade, one stat, and that's the best we can do. I mean, if I didn't need to heal, I could get two upgrades, but this double gold is ideally good for good for the relic that we have. That's all going to come down to curse management, for, management from here. Oh god, lose as much gold as you take damage. That's um, that's not what I want. I mean, it might save me, but it decreases the value of uh, other stuff that I have. So there we go. It's gonna be. I've got to. I've got to play this really well, or get some relics that decrease some curses, so I avoid the final curse. All right. Or I mean, I don't have to play it well. I could just die. Stunlock you a little bit. Good start. Not a great. Not a great conclusion, though. All right. So. for fun. Just trying to keep the greed counter alive. Alright. Decent, but I'm sure there's more enemies in this room, because this seems like a room with more of these kind of enemies. It's a big room. This is the kind of room that makes me think, hey, where's my mini-map? What's down here? Um... Yep. This is fine. We gotta actually kill things. Okay, we'll let you do your little happy rage explosion. Alright, another skull. Unlike other people that run this game, on YouTube, I still need my skulls. Although I do want to stream this on Twitch soon. I was a little bit of a needing to finish Dyson Sphere program and a little bit of, oh my god, these guys never hit me until today. What are you? Uh, gold, we're going to accept that for now. See if we can get you knocked all the way down before you can swing your butt at me. Because greed kills are also a corruption management device. Oh no, controller disconnected. That's not that's not good. They did just patch this. Alright, we're back to uh, mouse and keyboard strats. This is gonna play very poorly. For, uh, having no idea what's going on here but see that's the that's the other thing too is that I've kind of run into some issues kind of like this so that was definitely not my batteries all right well we'll see we'll see how long I can go with this but they did they did just release a patch to uh, fix some of the PlayStation controller issues, but for whatever reason, when I play this game and no other game, the controller just says, I'm taking the day off. All right. So he said we're going this way. All right. Nothing could possibly go wrong when you have a uh, temple with three bleeding eyes. This is this is actually really good for us. If I can get these fireballs to actually hit. Good. Got go on better. Nice. Those count as greed kills. Um yeah. Got another relic over here too, so. Um just take the money. 
So we're going to doing a lot of right clicking today if I could just actually remember to have my uh, stuff equipped. What are you? Um, plus nine constitution. I guess I'll take the health. See, here's the problem. You're having to switch midway through. Your muscle memory says it's one button. really another button that you need. Okay, bonus damage for no stamina. Two whirly birds. Let's see if we can stun lock you for a second. We did not. We really didn't. Can I go back and get that relic that uh, gives me the uh, bonus now? Alright. Okay, I should have just gone for the shield kill. I don't know why I switched up to the... Uh, throwing knives there. That was a bad move that cost me some life. Um, we'll go right this time. Seems like all roads lead to doom, sadness, and destruction anyway. Let's see how much of you guys we can explode. It's a decent start. Techniques are fun. Oh, I thought you only were doing your two swing run. Woo! How is it? That's a good shot. Hope I can remember to use that for the oh my god, I'm about to die picture for whatever video highlight I use. Oh no, I said I have to do this perfectly to avoid the final curse. Um, I think I'm going to get cursed unless I'm able to get rid of a lot of uh, corruption here in just a minute. And maybe I will be. Um, max health is good. That makes up for some of my mistakes. And then we already got the group from over here. So that's that's a positive. All right. Upgrade. We're definitely upgrading the shield. It's going to cost a pretty penny, but we're definitely upgrading the shield. Obviously, I have to survive to upgrade the shield, but that's our plan. And I'm trying to stick to it. Both of you guys. Oof. Blame the mouse control on that one. Obviously, it wasn't the mouse control, but I'm blaming it. On that. Actually, don't even remember what the parry button is on mouse. It's probably worth uh, looking up. I really hope it's not left shift. Hey, did you like having all these enemies? Because we got a few more. Oh, shit. All right. Let's fight closer to the trap here. Preferably without you corrupting me, please. Yeah, this is just how I die. And that's okay. Um, I really need something that's going to clear some corruption here. Okay, just take your time. No need to panic. Plenty of reason to panic. Alright. Hey, what's one more round of baddies? gone. 
and actually stun Lucky a little bit. Let's get you over to uh, where we try to set you on fire. Not like that. Okay, preferably don't want to set myself on fire. Or have the enemy destroy the trap I was trying to take advantage of. So we're just going to do a hit and run. He's going to do th one, two. Try to stun lock a little bit and run like hell. So there's the three swing. Eventually, this game's gonna slow down for me. That's not today. Let's look at our uh, system options. Keyboard. Parry's F. Okay. I, I set that myself, so that's good. Um, upgrade. It's gonna. It's gotta be this. And we could corrupt ourselves if we wanted to, but we're not going to. So offer gold. All right. Let's see if we can do the thing. Like, my stats are okay. My life total's okay. I got two more floors to get through. I just gotta avoid the final curse. Bloodlust could be good. Certainly one of those ones that's not objectively bad. Okay, hopefully that works. Good. It'd be really nice if I was getting all this in gold. What are you? You're giving me three constitution. Um... No, I'm taking it because, um... My weapon gives me a bonus for uh, having a mace, right? Yeah. I don't have time to check, so we're just going to take it anyway. Alright. Oh, I had it. I, had, I was doing so good until I wasn't. Alright. Come on, eyeball. we not continue to summon these things, please? Alright. Alright, what are you? 12 corruption. Just what we needed. Okay. So the bloodlust is going to keep us healed a little bit. Getting just enough gold to pass over the threshold would be really nice. Alright, let's see if we can do this. I don't like this many uh, glowy-eyed creatures, though. Only a little stressful. Okay. Why don't you try parrying? I named like five videos at the start of the series. By the way, you should probably parry. I mean, perfect dodging is nice when you can get it, but parrying is just a little more reliable. Wow, I did not interrupt him. Okay. They didn't lose a lot of corruption for that, but let's see if we're missing any gold. We are. All right. Since we have a minute to breathe, yeah, plus one damage if main weapon's a mace. All right, well. And that one has a good perception damage bonus while we're at it. Um, okay, just traps. Um, what's this? A relic? Do we care? 20% damage for swords, 30% weekend. Um, let's use a favor. 
I don't really intend on buying any of these, but something could blow me away. Um, plus 15 to lightning attacks is pretty good. And 6 constitution. If we do that, we're getting rid of this. Um, we're going to do that. Because since we have bloodlust, we're not going to be amassing a bunch of gold now, so that's fine. Getting close. Let's light the torch first, preferably by lighting it. Then we should probably equip the damn shield. It's one of my least favorite things about playing it this way. Can we uh, actually have this trap go? I love that. Alright. Well, it's almost like these traps are working for uh, my opponents instead of for me. Let's stop screwing around. Okay, good, good show. Um, screw it, let's take this guy hammer. Maybe should have taken the gold, but we're... Did I take damage there? Huh. Um... We'll hold off for a second. Okay, I've got to really watch it here. And that's why, that's why too. Okay. Help if I didn't totally whiff on the attack two times. There we go. Another skull. What do we do here? Three perception, which doesn't do me a lot of good this deep in the run, or some more dexterity, which I'd prefer. Passing through a door. We only have this is this is our last room, I think. Yeah. So we're gonna get rid of this. Nearly a disaster. Alright. We only really need health. So. Let's do it. And let's see if we can beat the boss. I have seen other people fight this boss. I've never actually fought this boss myself. So. Kind of excited that it's been a little while since I played and I still. Oh gosh, I'm not actually done with the area. Cool. Well. That is what we call counting our chickens before they fucking hatch. Which we all love delicious chicken. Okay, if I can sneak past this door without another fight, I'm doing it. Uh, that fight will give us nothing to benefit from versus just taking on the boss. So here we go. Boss time. Like I said, I've seen this fight. I've never fought it myself, so mechanically, I don't really know what to do. So hopefully we can do good with it. Okay, charge first. That's not a surprise. Are there any torches? Of course there's not torches, because the torches are under the floor. Alright. That's enough sizing up here. Gotta remember my parry is F. Okay. It's a lot of damage. Don't want to explode. Don't want to take 135 damage if I can avoid it. Okay. Okay. I did terrible on my timing there. Okay. 
Wow. He's got really, really long reach. Okay. I'll have to watch the game tape on this one, because that's a lot of damage I didn't need to take. Finally. And now I'm on fire. It's probably the exact thing I don't want to be. Yeah. I think I definitely could have done better versus this guy, but... Yep. Three health! There we go. Still proud of myself for making it this far. Um, but still, didn't finish the deal. But a good run, nonetheless, especially for losing my controller again. And maybe if I had the controller, it would have gone differently. Maybe it wouldn't have. I don't know. So back to the Hall of Shame. We now have enough to uh, get the two-handed altar up. We actually have enough to get a upgrade on the other one as well, but... Maybe, maybe we finish these first and then work on some of the things here. Because getting 75% of a special ability, 50% chance of rare, those are those are really, really nice upgrades. But they do start at level 1, so they're not entirely necessary upgrades. Um, I do want to save for, like, the Moonblade Night Sword or um, Annihilation Bow of Madness. Those are all pretty cool things. Um, and then we'll work on some of this. But that's it for now. This is Asher with Curse of the Dead Gods. Be streaming this in a little while soon on top of some other stuff as well. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will do this again soon. And you have a good day. Take care. Don't get lost in the temple. Bye.